Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Civilization VI, where uh, Filthy Robot has yeah. declared war on me. He is very much in my face with a bunch of units. He's probably doing that, so I'll do that. So he's probably doing that, so I'll attack him and uh, he'll get a promotion. That's all right. It's all good, man. I would uh, take trying to get upgrades here. Maybe I should just buy some units. Would that make sense? How much is it to buy units here? Get a siege tower, horseman, swordsman. Swordsman's probably the best. Buy that. Go ahead and attack. Not that we'll kill him or anything, but let's do some damage. Got a worker just chilling here. Let's get out of the way. Trade unit that I can't use. Let's transfer to another city. Just go to Washington. That's fine. And back to choosing production here. This is very much a surprise where I just noticed his army and then he attacked. It's all good, though. We'll have to come back from America. I bet America will peace out now that he's an AI. I don't need to worry about the rest of his cities. They're crap. Well, they're not crap. This one's nice. It's got two Luxes. But um, Cincinnati's definitely crap. There's no Luxes there, so I don't really give a shit. All right, so what do we want in Silicon's cure? Mm, nothing's really going to help me. Not against this. I mean, this is a really good attack from him here. I guess I can get a... I can get a Swordsman in one turn. That's worth. Let's just focus on units here. Knights and crossbows, I think, are the way forward. Hey, Shen, when you mouse over it, when you're building a unit and you just hover over it, do you see plus production towards units? Yeah, hold right? on, hold on. All right, he gave me Baltimore. It's good because this is only other good city. That's cool. Sorry it's taking so long. I had to move a bunch of units. That's okay. I had to peace out America. He said peace, so we have peace, yay. I am up for another one after this, but uh, let's see what happens here. Yeah, sounds good. I don't have pikemen yet, so that's gonna be interesting. They're like just a little bit stronger than swordsmen, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I have samurai too with this tech. They're the same type tech as tech as pikemen for me, but I just didn't build them. The four characteristics of Man, clicking on that stupid little shoot with your city button. Yeah, I knew you're gonna promote there. Clicking on that stupid little shoot with your city button, it's so tiny. And when I click on it, it like focuses my camera there, and then it selects my swordsman instead of the shoot button. It's very weird. It's just in an awkward spot. Do you have any idea why my horseman cannot cross to the tile with your aqueduct on it? How much one move? How much oh, move I, do you have? Never mind. No, no, I gotta figure it out. Thanks. Ow! Quit it! Ow! Quit it! Units and districts, other heavy cav, defending against heavy cavalry and anti cavalry. Sounds good. It's perfect for pikemen. And you have a lot of units down there. Holy crap. How's his military compared to mine? 687, 750. Yeah, very similar. When do I get cavalry? Like, how far away is that? I need to target cavalry. That needs to happen. Can't be that far away. Cavalry. Am I just skipping it somewhere? Or oh, it's here. Replaces cavalry. There you go. Six techs away. Okay, that's a problem. Gunpowder next turn, though. That's going to be huge for us. Muskets. I need to start saving up gold. Wow. Perhaps I don't need the Colosseum so badly. Well, no, we are at negative one amenities. Aw, oh, come on. You're pillaging my shit, you son of a bitch. Son of a bitch!
Uh, we don't need to trade with the capital. It's probably gonna probably gonna lose our capital. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm gonna do my best to defend, but we'll see how it goes. Pillage, pillage, pillage. Unit killed. Amenities, whatever. War declared. Um, America just told me to not settle cities so close to him after I peaced out. That's Can military units left down south for me? Can you tell me something about... Okay, so I do get a bonus then. So, yeah, I get plus four for fighting you because you're a different religion, even though I'm fighting your units near a city that has my religion. Okay, interesting. Because mm -hmm. it matters on the empire basis, yeah. All right, let's get moving. Sun Tzu, we gotta go. So I'm at four out of five, but I can't do a trade route for some reason. Whatever, we'll try next turn. When it says four out of five, you should be able to do a trade route immediately, but apparently not. Apparently we can't. Every turn with the ding ding. Every turn with the ding ding. What is this? What is this? Show me! I'm mousing over it, for fuck's sake. Teddy proposed a deal. No. Yeah, it unselects your unit when you, as you're trying to assign the promotion. Like Isn't I'm that in stupid? the promotion screen and it unselects it. That's so dumb. Goodbye, Solokomsk. Can't move very far, huh? Yeah, I need to get that light cavalry upgrade. Get our unique Russian unit. It's going to be a huge improvement for us instead of these stupid 35 strength cavalry. I mean, 35 strength horsemen. All right, Twer, what do you want? Let's just go spam full units here. Knights, knights, crossbows, pikes. Let's get some pikes. Repair. Do I want to send envoys? I guess I could get an alliance with someone. I mean, Kabul's already on my team, so he's at war. What else is over here? Candy? Can we get candy? It's like seven. We don't have enough to get candy. I'm trying to find city-states that are near Japan. No, I don't see any other than candy. So I'll hold on to my envoys for now. Unless we specifically want some other type of bonus. Production towards city projects. Nah. Hmm. Carthage. There you go. Oh, wow. It gives us lots of trade routes, doesn't it? Whoa, that's a lot of trade routes. What the fuck? So many trade routes. Oh, that's right. Carthage gives you extra trade routes based on your encampments that you build. Isn't that crazy? Carthage gives you one extra trade route for each encampment that you build. It is bonkers. Yeah, this city is so toast. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Alright, 
Let's see what happens there. Shoot? You didn't shoot. I can't even shoot at the city. It doesn't the button's gone. That's so stupid. So after after your first attack there, you're very I don't know how you attack so fast, by the way. After your first attack there, the red button, I clicked on it and I selected a knight to attack the knight, and it never shot. And then what, four attacks later the city fell. So it just ignored my city shot. It was weird. It's probably a it's probably similar to the promotion thing. It's probably a simultaneous action that is preventing you from every time that I attack, like it will remove your little dot again, your little shooting dot again. Oh no, it's not that. I actually I can't select any of my units right now. I cannot select units. What's going on? Don't know. Uh, yeah, can't select units. It's not a good thing to be having when you're at war. How are you keeping your gold up during war? Uh, I have 11 oh. trade routes. 11 trade routes, so you invested in a shit ton of commercial districts. And... Do you have uh, commercial districts and industrial districts up, or just commercial districts? Um, the industrial districts are going up slowly, but it's mostly commercial. Gotcha. Well, I'm not sure what to do here, folks. You need to select production before you can use units again? What? This? So, I had a, I had, got a unit disbanding from maintenance at one point, which I thought was ridiculous. At minus like 10, you lose like one, or minus like 20, you're gonna lose two or something, chat was telling me. But uh, I just found that I deleted one unit, I delete it for like 180. So it's like, I never have to worry about, like I delete one unit every like 12 turns or something, I'm fine, or like six turns, I'm fine. Which is ridiculous. Wait, you delete units, you get money? Yeah, in in or outside of your borders. Really? That's crazy. Yeah. What are you deleting to get 100 gold? I deleted a knight for 180 gold. Okay, so I had to click on this button in the bottom right, choose production, before I could select any of my units. Once, weird. once I click on that button, I can select my units now. Very strange. Wow. Okay, let's get units moving. Got a lot of work to do. Oh, I got the Colosseum built. Nice, it's super good. The AoE amenity stuff is really good. Yeah, but you took one of the cities that was supposed to be AoE, and you bastard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to get to, to Cavalry, because that's where Russia gets its unique unit. It's... Uh, I forget what it's called. The Cossack. The game is waiting on you because I'm busy. I've got a billion units to move around. 775. Yeah, he's going past me in military. That's that's not a good sign. It means we're probably going to have an uphill battle here. 
The fact that he took over one of my cities sucks, especially since it has iron, it's got some luxes, and it has an encampment that he can utilize almost immediately. That's pretty brutal. But what are you going to do? Uh, let's get... Oh yeah, I don't see any niter. Do we not have niter? Carthage has niter. I guess I could improve his niter. Do I have any niter anywhere else? Because I need muskets. Uh, without muskets, this niter is useless. Just completely missed some of my turn. How long did it take you to get used to this whole, like, you know, turn timer thing when you the have taxpayer. multiplayer shit to worry about? I don't know, man. We've been playing it for so long, it's tough to say. <laughs> I'm going to hook up these dice so we don't go unhappy too quickly here. Get me a knight. I'm going to build knights up here now because they're going to have to move farther. And uh, we'll build the slower stuff like pikemen here at the front lines. Greece is over here watching us fight. I need to get these uh, level four promoted crossbows close enough to where they can shoot, like ideally somewhere over here, but far enough away where they can't just be stomped right away. I don't want to lose these quad promoted guys, but we're probably going to lose some anyway. So I've got one in the city. I should put another one over here in the encampment. Where's another quad promoted? Do I only have the two? I thought I had three. I might have lost one. Oh, there he is. He's just lazy. Gotcha. Well, let's scoot around the back here and see if we can't do the same thing to, to Filthy and pillage some of his uh, luxes or whatever. Because I don't think he's paying attention to his rear. But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. No, not Kabul. I need Kabul. He's my friend. It's gonna be like a weird battle over there in Kabul. While the, the I mean, obviously I'm gonna defend my capital the best I can, but there's probably gonna be some strange happenings in Kabul as well. Little secondary battles. Uh, St. Petersburg, just keep trading, yo. Just keep trading. Can't shoot anything yet. me to shoot that guy. He's got a promotion ready, I'm sure. Interesting. There's his general. 
Got a fresh knight ready to go. Does he have siege units? That's the question. It's like, oh, look, you've got a general exposed. Oh, whoop de do. Let's go steal it. Nope. Let's go kill it. Nope. <laughs> It'd be nice if it worked that way, but it don't. But it don't. All right, how can I move these guys forward? I want you to go back. I want... Catapult shouldn't be up here at all. We're not fighting a city. I want this guy here. I want a pikeman or a swordsman there. We could do it. It would die pretty swiftly, but we could so do it. So slow moving units around without the ability to construct roads for yourself, though. I know, right? It's like, even in my own terrain, I really can't move my units where I want to because there's just not enough roads. <laughs> I wish I could attack that guy right now. So what we can do is we can build swordsmen, upgrade to musket. We don't have enough... Oh, we can just build musket. Let's build musket. Musket, musket, musket. Oh, right, because we have an encampment. The encampment allows us to do muskets. That's right. All right, Veronez. Trade, please. Trade for whatever gives us the most... Gold, probably. Five gold, five gold, five gold. Eleven gold to Carthage. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, baby. And I would like you to build muskets. All muskets, all day. Doesn't look like he has muskets yet. After muskets or bombards, that's going to be fantastic. Bombards are fucking baller. Uh, but we're going to need more units, right? We can't just live with just a couple of them. We need a lot. What is he pillaging over here? Wheat. Yeah, the city's not going to starve. The city's unhappy. Man, even with the fucking Colosseum, the city's unhappy. That's pretty cray-cray. Should have promoted instead of shooting twice. I feel stupid now. We have enough gold for some bombards next turn, I hope. I really don't want to put a horseman down here. So I won't do it. So many fucking units. All right, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky towards Is there Japan. a visual difference between medieval and uh, other walls? Yes, they all look unique. The ones on my city are ancient. They look kind of rounded. Medieval walls are very noticeably brick. And then Renaissance walls gotcha. have little hats on top of the little corners. And first, Hephaestus, you can't go around direct. not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Man, that sucks. I did not want to move my um, my crossbow down there. I kind of wish the attack command was not the same button as the move command on your mouse. Oh, you mean right-clicking? Yeah, but yes. I told you, you can... You 
at R is range I, attack. My hand is on the arrow keys. It's nowhere near R. I, I mean, it's rebindable. That's true. I don't know. I just don't like the way it is right I, now. I agree. I agree 100%. Don't think I need much of this crap. Enlightenment's kind of nice. Amenities? Yeah. That'll keep our people happy during war. Because that was a quad promoted crossbow that could shoot twice per turn, and now it's dead for no reason. Yeah. I think you're going to be fine. I think your error is that your science is better than mine. You have a lot more population and production across your empires than mine. I think you're going to be fine. But I, I did want to at least try. You have about 50% more units than I do right now. That, that's a big deal. That and I no longer have uh, I no longer have enough iron to actually build units. Because America burned down my iron city. And you took my other iron city. <laughs> so no more swordsmen and no more uh, knights. Cut off again. Be a big deal. I can still do knights up here, though. So we will. I'm going to focus on knights, bombards, and muskets. It's really the only way I can get through this. Yeah, I see all these four promoted troops from your your eras of war with other players. It's scary. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can just, you can see that. That's true. I forgot that you can see promotions. Can you see what they specifically are or can you just see the number? Just the number for me. what it is. I wasn't able to shoot over there. Got it. What's the tech for cores? Cores? Yeah. What's cores? The stack combining units together. Oh. Oh, man. Let's right? Like, real quick. I was going to do it too, but it's the end of the turn. I didn't want to do it. So you can get distracted and lose all your units if you want. I don't remember. I think it's a civics tech. I was looking in the other tr other tree. I tried to move to shoot that, but he moved his unit out. It's too bad. Oh, come back. I'm die, huh? As long as you leave Kapool alone, I'm happy dying. Tempted to move this uh, horseman out. We're gonna have enough units here. We'll see, though, I guess, won't we? 
I think you've got plenty of units. I mean, you've been spamming them for the last several turns. And I've had to recover from having my second city burned down. Yeah, Brutal. We'll oh, what are cores, by the way? I guess I should look that up, huh? Go for it. It's not searchable in the Cyclopedia, seriously. It's obnoxious. Is it a Civic Street tech, you think? I think so, yeah. Oh, God. 60 gold for that upgrade, okay. Let's see if chat knows. What is it, chat? I'll see if chat knows. Oh, I thought you said see chat knows. No, I wish. Nationalism, chat says. I think that's yeah, what for, they're saying. I think that's for armies, not cores. Uh, I don't think so. Allows well, forming two identical units into a core or fleet. There you go. This is the... Can I get one more shot on this guy and just kill him? No. This is something I definitely need more. This is something I definitely need more practice at. Is like a large scale combat, you know, between two players. Just the, where positioning all units should go, how to get the clicks in when you need them, and definitely how to use the R key, things like that. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Cheney. We'll be back next time for more War with Japan. Adios.